Hey, hey, everybody, how's it going? It's me, your favorite boy, Blindfold, here. The Nether update was a massive update. It would also technically be true to say the Nether update was a cool update. That's, That's my right. opinion. But even though the update is so cool, it's also big. The bigger the update, the bigger the chance that both versions of Minecraft won't have exactly the same features. Today we'll be talking about another update features that are on Java Edition, but actually aren't over on Bedrock Edition. A lot of the features that we'll be taking a look at are small features, but they're definitely different. If you can think of a feature like that, throw that down in the comments below, and remember to subscribe. We're on that spicy road to 1 mil. Ah, Nether Update, Nether Update, and Nether Update. Where should we start with the Nether Update? Well, of course, let's start with the most important nether update feature of them all, the Strider. Take a look at that Strider standing out there. Doesn't that Strider look good? Uh, trick question. Yes, of course the Strider looks good. Now the Strider obviously strode its way over to both Java and Bedrock Edition when the Nether update dropped. So of course there's that. That's good. Now for the most part, Strider mechanics are identical on Java and Bedrock Edition, except for this one right here. Here we have a Strider with a saddle on it. If we sit on the Strider with the saddle on it and then do literally nothing, the Strider is actually going to continue to wander around. On Java Edition, this is different. On Java Edition, if you find yourself sitting on a Strider, like literally just sitting there doing nothing, as long as that Strider is in lava, it actually won't move at all. It'll just stand still and wait for you to tell it to actually do something. Now, if you have a carrot on a stick, this mechanic really isn't a concern to you. Of course, you'd pull that carrot on a stick out and you'd lead the Strider to wherever you need to go. But let's say for some reason you jumped on a Strider without a carrot on a stick. Maybe you forgot it, maybe you just didn't know about it. Well, if that's you on Better Arc Edition, good luck because you're probably gonna need it. You're gonna need to wait for that Strider to wander back to the land on its own. All right, admittedly, that first one was a pretty small one. The second feature is definitely nowhere near as small unless you only play survival mode. Then this is something that you would never take advantage of. So here we are in the nether waste biome, insanely, insanely boring. We've got a basalt deltas right there and a soul sand valley. And then over there, we have a warped forest. You know what I haven't seen? A crimson forest. You know what we could do to find this crimson forest? Well, of course, we could use the locate biome commando. Wait, we're on bedrock edition. That doesn't exist. So I just loaded up a brand new Java world. Here I am looking at least a three out of 10, as always. Let's say I wanted to find a desert biome. If I was really, really lazy, all I would need to do is this right here, locate biome desert. Then I have this pasted right in chat. This is the nearest desert biome. I can click on this, boom, teleport right over to the desert. Hopefully, we're, yes, we're not under the ground. Okay, perfect. The locate biome command is pretty much like the locate command, but for entire biomes. Honestly, at first, I didn't think this command would be that big of a deal. But as I continued to make videos and mess around in creative worlds and really just work on things in general, I started to realize very, very quickly how insanely helpful the locate biome command actually is. I mean, for example, when another update was in snapshots and I wanted to check out one of the new biomes, explore it a little bit, easy. All I had to do is go in the nether and locate biome basalt deltas, then boom, I was over in one of the coolest brand new biomes. Again, for those of you who strictly play survival out there, you're probably not crying about this one, but this command is literally amazing. Now, while we're talking about amazing commands, let's talk about them a little bit more. Check this out right here. Not to flex on you Bedrock Edition players, but check this out. This thing is so, so useful. Game mode survival midair, boom, bad idea. Game mode creative midair, easy. Really, really quick too. Another unexpectedly huge Nether update feature comes in the form of the game mode swisher. The game mode swisher can be accessed on Java Edition by holding down F3 and then pressing F4 to scroll through the options here. As you can see here, we have the four different vanilla Minecraft modes, adventure modes, by Spectator mode, creative, and survival. If I have access to cheats in a world, I can quickly switch between these modes at will. Adventure mode, easy, boom, bad idea, I'm falling, creative mode, right back to it. No fall damage necessary. Just like with the locate biome command, the game mode switcher is another one of those unexpected nether update features that actually is really, really amazing. Switching game modes has never been this smooth, never been this easy, at least on Java edition that is. Chains are so, so cool. Chains are a feature that players have been requesting be added into Minecraft for years. Like, honestly, as long as I've been playing this game, and I've been playing this game for a minute. Their implementation, finally, in the Nether update was definitely unexpected, but nobody complained, because these chains are better than no chains. Now, the chain love definitely carries over to better Edition. Of course, the devs got this feature in the game, but chains are a little bit different over here. They look identical, but they can't be placed in all of the ways the Java Edition chains can. So check this out. On Java Edition, if I were to place a chain right here, it would be horizontal. Meanwhile, on Bedrock Edition, all we have is vertical. Now vertical, definitely better than no vertical and no horizontal, but no horizontal, not as good as horizontal. 
Now, if I'm going to be really picky about the chains, which I definitely am going to be, the horizontal chains unfortunately don't link up with the vertical chains, but still, horizontal chains exist, which is definitely a step in the right direction. Unless, of course, you're on Bedrock Edition, because horizontal chains never made it over to the Bedrock Edition Nether update. Java and Bedrock parity is a pretty big concern, it's a pretty big focus in recent years, so I'm sure eventually Bedrock Edition will get horizontal chains, but for now, Java Edition players are lucky, because they're the only players with this Nether update feature. Redstone on Bedrock Edition is pretty different than Redstone on Java Edition. That's just a fact, and that's probably never going to change, honestly. But surprisingly, in the Nether update, Redstone on Java Edition got a tiny bit, and I mean literally a tiny bit closer to Bedrock Edition Redstone. Redstone Cross. So, this is a thing that has been a thing, like, forever on Bedrock Edition. Previously, before 1.16 on Java Edition, if I were to place a redstone dust down, it would be a little dot. Nowadays, that isn't the case, actually. Surprisingly, the Nether update over on Java Edition also came with some redstone bug fixes and changes, so check this out. Nowadays, this is what we get when we place redstone down. But on Java Edition, we have the option to turn this redstone cross into our redstone dot. Now, the uses for this mechanic here are admittedly pretty small, unless we're talking about decorational uses, but it's yet another redstone functionality that Java Edition has that Bedrock Edition just doesn't have for some reason. Out of all of the Nether update features that we've talked about in today's video so far that didn't make it into Bedrock Edition, this one surprised me most, because honestly, why not? I mean, Java Edition took a step towards Bedrock Edition, shouldn't Bedrock take a step towards Java too? I mean, it's literally such a minor thing. Then again, it's Redstone. It's probably not as minor as I think. Elites, please allow me to introduce you to Minecraft Village. Minecraft Villages are pretty sweet. Now, a couple updates ago, Villagers got a total overhaul. Villagers got way, way smarter. Did you know that in the Nether update on Java Edition, Farmer Villagers also got smarter, but unfortunately, not on Bedrock Edition. You see, on Java Edition, in the Nether update, Farmer Villagers learned how to actually get bone meal from composters and then use that bone meal on crops. Farmer Villagers also learned how to share wheat with other villagers so those other villagers could use that wheat to make bread and then they could use that bread to like breed or I don't know do other villager things don't want to think about it yep that's right and honestly that is a pretty gigantic one farmer villagers knowing how to use bone meal that's crazy I mean literally what's next farmer villagers know how to use the eye of ender and then farmer villagers know how to find the stronghold and then farmer villagers know how to take the dragon out and then of course farmer villagers know how to use the elytra yep, it's over minecraft is literally Literally going to be all about the farmer villagers suit at least on Java edition that is you see I'm not as familiar with farmer villagers over here on bedrock edition but look at all these seeds I've given the farmer villager the seeds boy you should pick these up and compost them come on it's literally free bone meal yeah mm -hmm. we need to be patient because this guy can't even figure it out but I mean, hey, at least these items are spinning in 3D. That's pretty cool looking. So unfortunately, farmer villagers did not get any smarter on Bedrock Edition in the Nether update. Honestly, this one really confuses me too. I mean, seriously, why give the Java farmers even more abilities and leave the Bedrock ones the same? Kind of weird. And finally, let's go ahead and wrap things up out at sea today because this land has actually been tainted, entirely ruined by this thing right here. I'll have to come back here and just you know, take everything out. Yeah, they ruined it. The Nether update really didn't change much about the Bedrock Edition oceans, if anything, actually. On Java Edition, though, that's not the case. If you're looking for shipwrecks, Bedrock Edition is now the best place to be. Because over here on Bedrock Edition, shipwrecks are still just as common as they've always been. Shipwrecks were first added to the game back in the update Aquatic. Now, on both versions of the game, shipwrecks were insanely, insanely common. In fact, so common that over on Java Edition, the devs decided that they needed to be more rare and made them generate less frequently with the 1.16 update. If you've played Minecraft at all since the update Aquatic, then you probably have found a shipwreck at least once or twice or probably like 50,000 times in your life because they are common. But if you just started playing Minecraft with the Nether update on Java Edition, then that's not your reality. That's not your reality at all. Shipwrecks are way less common nowadays. Big deal? Unless you're a pirate? No. If you're a pirate? Still no, because you could probably just build a ship that's not wrecked. But in relation to the Minecraft oceans and the amount of structures that they have, this change is actually a pretty big change. Even though the oceans were just updated a handful of updates ago, they are still one of the most repetitive empty spaces in your Minecraft world. And now a little bit more so on Java 1.16.
Nowadays, when it comes to Minecraft updates on different versions of the game, they're pretty much the same thing. Both versions of the game are now closer than ever when it comes to the features inside of the game. But for some reason, some features still only make it over to one version of the game. What's the biggest feature from the other version of the game that you'd like to see in your version of the game? Let me know down in the comments below. It's been me, your boy. Hope you've enjoyed. Hit that like button, subscribe, and until next time, stay fresh. I'll see you in the next video, elites. Road to 1 mil.